Swamp Puncher here, playing Card Hunter, latest episode. So, my characters have all done very well. I'm uh, trudging through, well, not trudging through, enjoying my way through the game. <laughs> Can you enjoy your way through something? I don't know. I often enjoy my way through pizza, but I don't know if that counts. Um, XP 10, 10, 18. Oh, so he is nearly at level 5. And I think level 5 will be where I start getting cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how I get on. So, we've done that level 4 adventure. We've only got one level 4 adventure, and uh, one left, in fact. So, I'm going to give it a go and see how I get on. So, the Dungeon of the Lizard Priest. And now. Okay, so Slub Gut. And this is three exciting battles. But we're all level 4 now. <laughs> it's the D12, really 4. It's a bit of a mystery. Uh, if you play D&D, &D, then you will probably get that joke. Um, but obviously it's for the barbarian hit dice uh, it's clearly very important um, that geeking as a side right, these guys look like they're going to fight me come at the dwarf, come on ooh I'm going to charge him, charge him in I'm playing this quite riskily right, now stab him ok What's going to be their thing, do you think? What what are they going to be able to... Oh, they've actually got their own, despite being the same thing, they've got their own decks. Okay, well, my wizard hasn't really got anything that he can do um, for that, so I'm going to head here and try and at least... Oh, a strong stab. Oh, that was quite tough. Just going to stab it. Okay, now I'm going to play... Whisper, uh, wavering Faith on that guy, so he has to discard a card. So he's now got no cards left as that guy, but bloody hell, I'm taking a lot of damage. Um, no, he can't hurt him. So I'm going to head my wizard round here. Okay, he's going to move up into the corner. But he also hasn't got any cards left now, so I'm going to burn this guy. Okay, these guys are tough. They do a lot of damage. But so do I. And that guy's in the corner. Okay, so move him up against here. Right, Legless is probably dead. Yep. Okay, but so are you. Okay, and getting stabbed by the lizard. Okay, well I should be able to finish this guy off. Oh, damn it, I don't have enough uh, attacks. Well, I can't do anything, so let's pass, so that at least I get the pass um, first turn. Get rid of that, get rid of you. Okay. So now I'm going to be able to hit him. Damn it, I can't hit him with anything big enough to kill him. Neither can he. Okay, well, let's stab him, so at least uh, after he kills this dwarf. Yeah. Okay, well... I'm going to pass, and so hope he moves towards me. Yep, he does. I'm now going to shoot him in the face. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, wow, we scraped through. <laughs> okay, battle two of three, but let's see what items we get. Ooh. Ooh, that looks... Oh, okay, that's not that good. Um, hmm. Four damage and two range there. I've kept this one for a while, but it's level one rare, so I don't know how that equates on the levels. Um, but it's got the, it's the ten damage. It's that ten damage. That's that's big. <laughs> I like big numbers. Um, <laughs> yes. Now how I cast them with grace and panache, deft yet manly. Oh God, that guy's an asshole. I'd throw a dice in his mouth while he was sleeping. Encounter. Something black and bubbling. Okay. Some sort of ooze. Okay. And it's called blop blop ploply or something. I have to use Kindler. But that's a good card because it increases the damage I do. Okay, my dwarf hasn't got any any attacks. Um, I'm going to pass and see where they go. I think they've got range too because they always move into that kind of area. So I'm going to move. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't really know uh, which one to go. Okay, I'm going to move him round, get him up into the combat. 
Okay, he's trudging in. Right, Wavering Faith. I'm going to play that on the lizard men because that affects both of them. So they have to lose a car. And then I'm going to play... Uh, in fact, I might as well move him up to here. Right, they've moved him back. Okay, well they moved the other guy back as well. Got a lot of movement cards with him, so I might as well move them up. Okay, my armor failed. Never mind. But now at least I can get him to draw some cards. Okay, he's passed, but I've got damage. I've got damage I can deal. So every time I do that, that actually um, that actually does them extra damage. Um, because it sets them on fire. It's such a good such a good weapon. Okay, well the Lizard Men Warriors can't do anything. Uh, I'm going to cast that here. So that he'll take 8 damage. And then I'm going to move my wizard up to fight the ooze. Because I imagine that wizards probably do well against that. And then I'm going to move him up one more square. Because I didn't move him far enough. And then he's going to spray the ooze. Okay. I don't know quite how they work in this game. But normally uh, magic works well against them. Um, but in sorry, against oozes in Dungeons and Dragons, as I remember, I'm not quite sure. So that he took three damage from that spear. Ah, okay. So now I've got combustible, but it's not so much of a painful thing. I'm gonna weak strike this time. Hopefully, get rid of him. Okay, taking a stab, but I should be able to get rid of one of his cards. Oh my god, what does that do? We discard the oldest revealed card in target's hand. Okay, and I'm going to have to shoot him. Okay, he's hitting me quite hard. But he probably hasn't got that much actual damage cards. Right, I'm going to head him up here. Gary passed. Okay. More prevents all damage from crushing attacks. Okay. So that's his thing. Right, I don't want the warrior going up against him then. And let's swap them around. And keep the priest a bit out of combat. Okay, so we should be able to pass. We've got no cards. That's the only time I've ever had uh, zero cards at the end of a round. Okay, he didn't move, so because we made him discard his movement card. Um, die. Okay. So I'm actually quite liking the Wavering Faith, being able to affect the cards that your opponent has um, is really handy. So that's Battle 2 at 3 done. Oh, we've got a rare item. What the hell? Oh my god, you look good. Big, three big zaps. I mean, it, it reduces my deck pool, but in a good way, because I want to have good... <laughs> oh, it's an arcane item. All oh, right, where, god, where did it go? What did it look like? Um, oh, it did, it did get equipped. Okay, well that's good. I want I want that because even though it reduces cards, uh, I don't want that. No, nope, I don't want that. Okay, and I've just got something I can sell. Okay. Whoa. Right. Okay, they're having an argument about dice. Good times. You dare approach our ancient home, surface dwellers prepare to die. Who is this badass? Look at him. Lizard man cleric. Okay, well anything that says cleric, priest, or oh brilliant. Combustible straight, straight off the straight at the start. Um, we want him to die. We want him to die, 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 die. Um, bad luck upon the tall one. Please block it. Yes. Okay. And then he's going to head up here. Do I want him to go here? No, I really don't. Why have I done that? <laughs> like I was saying, no, I don't, while I was actually uh, doing it. Um, okay, we're going to try and zap you out of existence. Entangling net. Encumber two. So that's... Re oh, thank God it wasn't on my, uh, on my dwarf. That would have been horrible. So I'm going to move him up here okay all right so these guys 
are netters. Okay, I should probably should have looked at that when I got them. Okay, I want to set him on fire because he's a big old warrior and I don't like them. No, I can't really do anything else. So I'm going to pass, see what he does, and then I'm probably going to... Yeah. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, I was hoping he was going to take a turn, actually, because I've still got heals, and I wanted to hotspot somewhere that I, um, I'd i be able to mash him up. So, or somewhere that I know he'd be have to stay. So I can walk, and I might as well while I can, because if they take two movement off this guy, he's not going to be able to move at all. And at least he is going up against a combat urchin. Okay, so I managed to take two damage, but I'm now just going to kill him. Okay, that's one down. And they're still hitting me quite hard. I'm going to have to heal. I wish I had some better healing. Right, and then I'm going to heal again. And you moved there. Right, you've used a movement card. God, you... Oh, oh you're slub gut. Oh, okay, so you've got five cards. Right. Well, you guys have already moved and you've got two cards left. So let's see how you get on. I'm going to move you up to... I quite like to make them sitting ducks. So I'm going to move him here, see if that prompts him to move. It does. Okay, so they've, only, they've used most of their cards. The only other card they can have is... Um, well, it could be anything, to be honest. But is he out of range of that? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's move him up here. Okay, so Slug Gut has moved around. And now he's been shot in the back. That's the way all good heroes operate. Okay, how far does Wavering Faith go? Okay, so I can actually get rid of one of his cards. So his oldest card. He's now down to two cards. So I'm going to put a hotspot here and hope that he can't move. So he's down to one card, so it's unlikely that it's a movement card. I'm going to pass, because if he passes, he takes damage. Yep, he's going to take some damage. Okay, so that's him nearly dead. I'm really loving this game, by the way. I re really am. I'm, I've actually recorded all these episodes in a, in a row um, on a Saturday afternoon. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's yeah, very enjoyable. Sorry, I've <laughs> I didn't reconstruct really any sort of sentence there. Um, okay, well, I don't really want to. Oh, I can't move. I can move you, but I can't really do anything with that. I can give you two damage, but you're going to take damage at the end of the turn. Although you can move, so I might as well kill you. Yeah. Okay, get him out of the way. Good times. Well, the netters have just used their last card. Ooh. Okay, so let's head him over here. He's passed. Right, so hotspot him, because I know they can't do anything. Then I'll burn him. So he will die at the start of next turn. And... I, I, actually, I should have picked the other one. Uh, got to discard card. Yep, and yep. So I'm probably not going to get the card that charges me into battle. Okay, well he's dead. Wizard's gone. I'm gonna hit, send him up here. They can only move, but they've just passed. Gonna heal. So really this is now just bullying. I'm now just uh, moving up to them as soon as possible. I can't really do anything. I'm gonna pass as well. Uh, discard that. I'm probably gonna need it. And that. And that. Okay, so this should just be about killing him. So hopefully I'm going to be able to move up into Fumble. F oh, that's him. He dropped something. So he's had to discard his oldest card. And now the Dwarf is in combat. He's got one card, which is movement. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I should have moved the other guy. Okay, well, he's got no cards. So he's not really a threat. I've hurt him, and now I can heal myself. Okay, it's heals four, so he's up to seven. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything else. He's passed. Might as well. Select a card for him to discard. Okay, get rid of that and that. Okay, so he shouldn't be able to kill me, and I should just be able to walk up to him and mash him up. Okay, he's only got a movement card left now. 
So I'm going to pen him into the corner. He can't escape. He just moved him to the same square. So he's with. Okay, so that's him stabbed, and that's him dead. Okay. Okay, excellent. We fought our way through. Adventure complete. Fear not, this one puncher. I shall ride to the rescue if Gary continues with this substandard fare. Um, level 5. Do, what do we get? Do we get something cool? Weapon. Ah, oh, level 5. What do we get? Arcane item. Oh, it's amazing. Level, level 5. Another divine weapon. Wow. And let's see what we get. In the chest. Turquoise staff. Stuff to sell. Lizard fire. Uh, ooh, what are you? Level 3 rare boots. What do you do? Violent spin. Push to every ca character adjacent to you at the start of this move. Oh, wow, that's good. And it's movement three. Um, and it gives another attack. That's quite good. At the start of each round, take one point of arcane damage. Keep. Ooh. It's a bit tough. Lizard Friar. Oh, my God. That's nice. Five damage, six range. A lot of a lot of ranged attacks. So what can you, can you use? What are you? You're a rare staff but I quite oh no I think that's I think that's better that is better okay and what are you thick club oh I actually think I use one of those I'm not so fussed about that uh, the boots I don't know if I'm gonna wear them because of the uh, the violent spins good it adds another attack but I'm not fast I think I'll just sell them and you are another staff one damage four range like moving people around yeah, I'm, I'm not so fussed about that at the moment. And now... Map reveals the location of Slobcut's hidden lair. Okay. Well, haven't we just killed him? Okay, never mind. Okay, well, I'm going to call it for there for the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you like more. Thanks very much, bye.